How great. Oh, help me worship him here this morning, saints. Then sings my soul. Then sings my soul. My Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. O oh Lord my God. When I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars and I hear the rolling thunder, your power throughout the universe display. Come on, sing it. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. We love you this morning, Lord. How great thou art. How great thou art Then sings my soul My Savior God to thee How great thou art How great thou art And when I think And when I think Mighty God That God his Son Not sparing Send him to die I scarce can take it in that on the old rugged cross, that on the cross my burdens gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sins. Come on and sing it with everything. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. We love you, Lord. How great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou art how great thou art sing it to him then sings my soul my Savior God to thee we love you Lord how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, may in past day may we join our faith with your wonderful people here this morning. Dear God, you see everything going on in their lives. But you are an on-time God. You know exactly what your people need this morning. Minister to them. Encourage them. Let the word of God pull them out of the ditch. Let the word of God bring them out of discouragement. Let the word of God break depression, oppression from off of them this morning. Let the word of God bring victory in their lives. Step in and turn it around. We look to the hills this morning from whence come our help. Our help comes from the Lord. Dear God, people are facing trials, tribulations, heartache, pain, sickness, death, divorce loss of job repossession loss of property minister to your people this morning let them know you are right there in the fire with them and you're about to bring them out of it in the name of jesus christ we pray somebody say amen oh blessed be the name of jesus we continue in our series your trouble has god's attention mighty god and on this morning, we are declaring over your life, you will win big. Who want to lose? Not me. I don't want to be on the losing team. I said, you will win big. Oh, glory to God. Come on, somebody help me give him praise here. My God, my God. I said, you will win big. I want to take you into the word of God in the book of Second Chronicles. 
chapter 14. King Asa, the father of King Jehoshaphat, had just come to the throne and Asa began to remove idols. He began to fortify the nation of Israel. He began to do what he was supposed to over the tribe of Judah. I mean, he was a righteous man. God was well pleased with Asa. But I'm telling you, when you begin to pull down demonic strongholds and bring people into the presence of God and bring them back into a right relationship with God, you become a threat to the enemy. Oh, you become his number one target. Glory to God. Are you listening to me? When you begin to move for God and surrender your life and your family to God and you begin to do everything that pleases God, the devil gets upset with you because he knows you are on the move to destroy his kingdom through the power of God. Such was the case of King Asa. And the Bible says in verse 8 of 2 Chronicles 14, King Asa had an army of 300,000 warriors from the tribe of Judah, armed with large shields and spears. He also had an army of 280,000 warriors from the tribe of Benjamin, armed with small shields and bows. Both armies were composed of well-trained fighting men. Once an Ethiopian named Zira attacked Judah with an army of one million men and 300 chariots, they advanced to the town of Mauritius. Now you got to understand, this army, this enemy that came against King Jehoshaphat, they pretty much had him outnumbered two to one. The odds were stacked against against Asa. Have you ever been in a situation where when you look through the natural eyes, the odds are stacked against you and it looks like the enemy is about to devour you and annihilate you and wipe you out and bring you down. Have you ever been there where you suffered great loss and it seems like you were going to lose everything? And you know the devil tried to get you to doubt the word of God in those times. But you got to dig your heel in. You got to dig in and say, uh-uh-uh. I'm going all the way with God. I'm standing on the word. I'm putting my trust in him. Now watch this. So Asa deployed his armies for battle in the valley of in the valley north of Marisha. Here, here comes the key to victory. Verse 11. Then Asa cried out to the Lord his God. O Lord, no one but you can help the powerless against the mighty. Help us, O Lord our God, for we trust in you alone. It is in your name that we have come against this vast horde. O oh Lord, you are our God. Do not let man prevail against you. Glory to God. Asa began to cry out to the Lord his God. When you're in trouble, you got to cry out to God. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3, God says, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you know not. Your back may be against the wall. You may be outnumbered two to one. You may be outnumbered ten to one. You may be outnumbered a hundred to one but God is on your side glory to God and he can put his thumb on the scales whenever he chooses to I don't care how bad you may be outnumbered in the situation in the trial in the trouble that you are facing this morning the Holy Ghost want me to, to declare over your life you will win Big. Oh, glory to God. Grab a hold of it. Open your mouth. Lift your hands to heaven. Declare it. I will win big. You will have whatever you say. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Jesus said, whosoever, Mark eleven twenty three, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the midst of the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he say shall come to pass. Jesus said, you will have whatever you say. I dare you to open your mouth and declare it. I will win big. I will win big. My God, my God. 
So the Lord defeated the Ethiopians in the presence of Asa and the army of Judah, and the enemy fled. That's what the Bible says in James 4, 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. You got to put up a fight. You got to fight back. You can't throw your hands in. You can't wave the white flag. Don't throw the towel in. It ain't over until God says it's over. Even though the battle was against uh, Asa, even though he was outnumbered two to one, he knew he had supernatural help. He cried out to the Lord his God. David said, he make my feet like hinds feet. Glory to God. He teaches my hands to water. That I can break a bow of steel with my bare hands. Glory to God. David said, I can leap over a wall and run through a troop. Ah, that's the supernatural help of God. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. David said, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. So Asa cried out to God, and the Lord defeated the Ethiopians in the presence of Asa and the army of Judah, and the enemy fled. He put him on the run. God's about to put your arch enemy, the devil, on the run. God's about to put him on the run. Glory to God. He's given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and absolutely nothing shall by any means hurt you no weapon form against you will be able to prosper if God be for you who can be against you greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of that testimony glory to God Asa and his army pursued them as far as Gerar and so many Ethiopians fell that they were unable to rally. They could not recover themselves. They were destroyed by the Lord and his army, and the army of Judah carried off a vast amount of plunder. Did you hear me? What the devil meant for evil, God turned it around. It turned out to be a blessing in disguise. My God, my God. While they were at Gerar, they attacked all the towns in that area, and terror from the Lord came upon the people there. As a result, a vast amount of plunder was taken from these towns. Come on, somebody. That's victory. That's victory. Lift your hands and say victory. I'm going to see victory. Glory to God. My God, my God. I'm going to see a victory. Come on. I'm going to see a victory for the battle. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Sing it. And I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory for the battle. For the battle belongs. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, me and Pastor Amy, we cover your wonderful people here this morning. We pray the strength of the Lord in their spirit, in their mind, in their soul, in their body. That person who feels like giving up, I pray God that you would touch them. I pray that you would lift that burden off their shoulder. I pray that you would comfort them. I pray that you would give them peace right now in the name of Jesus. Give them peace in the midst of their storm. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity to stand with the work of God and support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And to do so, you can visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also give through the Ministry Zell account. The Ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. Info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the Ministry Cash App account. 
the ministry cash app address is the dollar sign sean pinder ministries you can also mail your donations into the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to sean pinder ministries p.o box 2726 mckinney texas 75070 and we are asking you our social media family to help us reach one million people a month with the gospel of jesus christ and to do that we are asking you to share this video with your friends and family members share it with those that you know need a word of encouragement you know god will use that word to pull them right out of that depression and break the attack of the enemy over their lives share it through whatsapp share it through snapchat linkedin twitter facebook messenger text it tweet it come on you know how to do it help us reach this world with the gospel of jesus christ and never forget me and my beautiful wife pastor amy we love you we appreciate you. We believe in God for your miracle, for your breakthrough, and your turnaround. We'll see you again on tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.